friends. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today's video is going to be all about reviving a tired face. Uh, I went to bed at about 10 o'clock, woke up at one o'clock in the morning and I have been up ever since and it is now 9.30 in the morning. So I thought I need to do, I wanna do some videos today. So I thought I'm gonna come and do some prepping before the video to make myself look wide awake. First thing I do is I do sprinkle in my eyes the Lumify. It helps to take all of the bloodshot out of your eyes and it was highly recommended from my uh, eye doctor. So I'm good with it. Next thing, I've already washed my face with the La Roche-Posay uh, hydrating cleanser. The reason why I'm using this is I, this facial is going to be about lifting, plumping. I'm going to address some pores, but it is just to revive a tired face and perhaps hopefully take a couple of years off because when we are tired, we look older. So uh, I'm using this because I'm going to use my new face first. And the reason why I'm doing the new face first is because you cannot have any oil on your skin when you're using the new face. So I have already cleansed with the Tol Lorraine. La Roche-Posay. I think CeraVe is also oil-free, but I can't use CeraVe. It breaks my skin out. So I have cleansed with that. Just a simple cleanse. All right, so now we are going to get started. Uh, you can use the New Face Gel if you want, but many of you had suggested the Spectra 360 uh, Gel. It's salt-free, hypoallergenic. Uh, I've been using this and it works just fine. So what I do is I go ahead and I just take a small spatula and I'm going to squirt the gel on. It is a little bit thicker than the new face gel. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put a thin layer, but not too thin because you don't want to feel the current. And the new face I have done tons of videos on. I've been using this for probably, oh, I'd say a good, nine years maybe and i have several videos on it how to use it uh, how i do a really long um, treatment with it but today i am going to pretty much just start and then i'm going to fast forward to the next step but i did want you to see each step that i will be doing and like i said uh, a nice layer of the gel goes on and i work in small sections i don't necessarily uh, do the whole face with the gel because I don't want it to dry out on me. This one doesn't. The new face one, um, it can. But okay, anyway, so we're going to take our new face and I do have the one where you can take the uh, heads off and put others, which I do have. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to turn it on and I want to make sure my power's all the way up and I'm just going to start on my face and there is a beat that comes with it and you just start over and I usually make about five passes uh, in each section. So I'm going to do that. And then I will show you my face on one side before I move forward. So you can see the lifting it does. And move in a nice rhythm, not too fast, not too slow. Really work with the beeps. I'm gonna shut up now and go. So now I'm going to change to the L. I think it's called the L. And I'll do the same thing, turn it on, make sure it's all the way up. And I'm going to work my eye area. Now move to my mouth. Okay, so I'm gonna shut it off and you just wipe it clean and then put it right back on its charger. But I'm gonna do the other side while I'm off camera. Now I'm gonna so, wipe off the gel. And I just want you to take a look at one side of my face to the other. I have to be careful, I have contacts in.
Okay. I just want you to look. This is actually peaked up just a little higher. And I do think that you can see a difference from this each side of the face. Okay, so I'm gonna go and do the other side of my face. Okay, so the new face is all done. It, it instantly lifts. Now, people are going to ask, does it last uh, forever? No, you have to do it on a daily basis. Uh, you can do it while you're watching television. You can get through it quickly. It is worth it. I have been using it for years. All right, so we are going to move on now. Because I did put the Spectra Gel on, I wanna go ahead and do a quick cleanse with my Sunita, this is the vitamin C lactic cleanser. I really like this. I'm just going to dampen my face lightly. I have a little bowl of water over here. And I'm just going to use a small amount of this, but I'm not going to leave it on my face for a very long time. And I'm also going to avoid this area because I am going to use a mask for my pores. So I only take a small pump. This is really nice, it's gentle. I used to use the Glow Skin Glycolic, but I can't really use it anymore. Again, I'm going to really avoid that area. I'm just going to give it a quick cleanse, and I'm gonna go in with my Zoe, which is uh, the old version, and I'm just going to wet that and turn it on and do a really quick once over just to get that gel off because I am going to do a steam, and I don't wanna steam that gel into my skin. I go right over my eyebrows. This will just help to lift up any dead skin cells in a gentle way. You can use glycolic if your skin can tolerate it. If you're really focusing on pores and your skin can tolerate a salicylic acid, that's gonna work the best on the pores, but you only wanna use that in the areas that you have a pore issue. You don't really need to use that all over your skin unless you have acne prone skin and it's working well for you. Then don't even pay any attention to what I'm saying. Okay, so that's my quick cleanse. I'm just going to rinse this off. I have some sponges here, and they are just facial sponges. You can see it's taking some of that gel off my skin. And I'm going to go to the sink and do a quick rinse, and I'll be right back. Okay, so my face is all cleansed and ready to go. Again, that was the, with the Sunita's Vitamin C Lactic Cleanser. This helps to brighten the skin. And everything that I'm using today will be listed and linked below for you. All right, so now I have got my Dr. Dennis steamer here, and it's going. And I just want to do a quick steam. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And what the steam will do for me is it just is going to soften and prepare my skin for any treatment that I am going to use on it from here on. So uh, just whatever steamer you have, if you have just a pan over the stove, put a towel over your head and just let the steam soften. You don't need much more than five minutes. This does run, I think it turns off after seven or eight minutes. So I usually let it go and uh, then just shut it off and move forward. So that's what I'm going to do and I will be back. Okay, so my steaming is finished, so I'm going to move on to my first set of masking, and I'm going to mix my mask now because um, this part of my face doesn't really have an issue with pores, and uh, my T-zone area, and I suspect that most people will have a problem with their pores, and pores don't change in size. They don't shrink, they don't get bigger, but they can appear bigger if they are full of sebum, dirt, skin cells, and that's what happens, they get clogged. But we can help them along, and by steaming, you soften that. So the next step is going to be a mud mask. Now I have a sample of this one. This is the Detox Clay Mask with Rosemary and Honey. And the reason why I like this is it does have clay in it, which helps to absorb oils but it also has rosemary, which will help to tighten the pores and it tones and regulates sebum. So if you have a problem, this may be a really good mask for you. It is on the pricey side, but you know, you could look for something else that has rosemary in it. And then it also has honey and chamomile and sweet orange, which are your soothing and nourishing active ingredients. So I am going to go ahead and just open this up. And I think I'll just put some of this on the back of my hand and that is the color of it. 
Now I'm just going to take my fingers because you get better control and I only want this in my T-zone area. So I'm going to put the, oh, it smells wonderful. I've never used this one. So we're using it together, my friend. And then go all the way over your nostril because believe it or not, your pores are there. Above my lips, I see a little bit of pores. Now I don't use a lot of clay mask. I'm not sure how this is gonna dry down. I don't like clay masks that really dry down hard because then they really, you have to use a lot of force to get them off. So we'll see, this one's very creamy and I think the honey is gonna keep it on the soft side. So then I move my lip and really open that area up and I just go ahead and put the mask on. And then we go right in the T-zone area. And that is the only place I need that mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this excess off. And remember, any detoxifying mask you have that works for you, that's the one you're going to use. So now I have this, this is one of my most favorite masks. And this is an oxygenating complex face mask. And it is by, Biolique Recherie, Recherie, I don't know how to say this, but um, this line intrigues me. I just got some sheet masks. They were gifted to me from a friend and oh my goodness, they are fabulous. But today I wanna to use this. I want to really revive my skin. So I'm taking my silicone spatula. This is by Sigma, but there are others you can find on Amazon. And I'm just going to apply this to the rest of the face. Now you don't need a lot of this mask and these are expensive so i just use a thin layer because i don't want to waste it and if you just put globs and globs of it on you're wasting it so for this we want to just put what we need i don't really go up underneath the eyes and i go around the temple area and i never my hair needs to be washed so it doesn't matter if i get it in my hair and then i'll just scrape some more off of here Bring it up here and then I'll put some more on and do the other side of the face. Okay, so this mask stays on 10 minutes and this one can stay on 10 to 20 minutes. Always try to match your mask time. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So I can wear both of these for 10 minutes. If I were wearing just the white one, I would wear it the full 20 minutes. But if you have a mud mask and it says leave on for, you know, three minutes, but your other mask has to be on for 15 minutes, then you're not balanced there. So try to make it so your mask stay on at the same time if you're going to double up on your masking. So there is plenty left in this pack. So I'm going to just put it in a baggie and I will use it a couple times this month until it's gone. So I can, if I like it, that's if I like it. Right now, I'm not feeling anything weird. Um, it just feels like another mask. It actually, I don't even feel it on my skin. I feel this one because it's cool, but this is one of my favorite. But I will say a lot of the products from this line, they do not smell nice at all, okay? But Joelle turned me on to this line. Well, was it Joelle? No. I. I think I follow a skin girl, it might be the Alaska, uh, Liz from Alaska, that I started seeing really using a lot of this line. And um, I really uh, was, it was very, I was intrigued by it. So I did, I purchased a couple things, very expensive. But I've had this for a while and it really does work wonders. And now I'm also going to apply a lip serum and this one, is not just something to make your lips feel good. This it's one here has a lot of good ingredients in it. So it's actually a skincare treatment for the lips. I really, really love it. And if that one is not one that you're interested in, the Summer Friday, uh, I just got this, it's the Lip Butter Balm. This is also very, very nice, but my preference is this one because it has skincare treatments in it. All right, so I will be back after this has been on the a loud time. Okay, I am back. The mask have been on for 15 minutes. They were both very comfortable to wear. The clay mask did not dry down really, really hard, which I really, really love. It was very, very comfortable to wear. No burning, no stinging, nothing. It really is a nice mask. So I will continue to use up the sample and see how it performs. But I'm gonna go ahead and just take these makeup sponges and see how easily that came off. Really, really nice. I don't like to have to struggle with a clay mask when I put it on because it's too much pulling and, and stretching of the skin. 
So I'm just going to look how easily I'm barely, barely touching it. And it's coming off so easily. And these sponges are really nice. I don't know where I got them, but they are nice. They have a little bit of abrasive nips to them. So you want to be gentle with them. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use my mitts. I do have my crock pot going in the back. But some of you are probably saying, why does she have a crock pot sitting? That keeps my warm cloth with I am going to use in a little bit. Uh, this is a spa that you must set aside some time for because I do use a couple of beauty tools. I am going to do a little bit of a massage. So you do need some time. This isn't one of those that you leave me a comment and said, who has time for all of this? Okay. Just wiping the mask off. The white one comes off very easily as well. These mitts, I think you can still find on Amazon. I will link them below if I can find them. I have a couple pair of them. I really like them because they're just easy to slip on. But see how easy that comes off? Really nice. And then we'll just go ahead and take the rest of this off. Okay, so there is our first mask. The skin is already starting to look fresh and revived. So now I am going to move on to my Nua. I have talked about this in a video before. Uh, this I am using on a daily basis. I did get a little bit lazy with it when the construction was going on and also then the coronavirus hit and you know, you kind of get like, Bleh. but uh, I'm back into the swing of it so again. I'm gonna go ahead and use it today. I do feel when I'm consistent with it, I see a difference. So this one here, you also have to use with a gel. Now my face is cleansed and ready to go. And the reason why I'm using the new, new one now is I like to really soften my skin and then use something like this. And then because it warms the skin up, I just like to put everything, do my massage, everything else after it. You do have to use their gel. This is for delicate skin because the regular did irritate my skin. This doesn't irritate my skin at all, the sensitive one, but it still has a, a really unattractive scent to me. But I go ahead and use it anyway. And what you do is you just squeeze this out on top of the coils we'll say and you must put it you cover the whole coil and then on the side there's a zero one two i keep mine at two that that will tell you how strong the treatment how much it's going to warm up basically and then it has a one if you want to start lower you just it's blue when you when it's waiting to go and then you press it and the blue will start flashing each segment is four minutes and you just go in circles and you will feel it get warmer always have gel under it. You can go in smaller areas. You can work isolated areas. So if you have jowls like me, I tend to work that area a little bit, probably two minutes of the four minutes. And then I will just increase it. Once now, when it turns green, that means that it is at the best level for treatment. So right now it's warming up, warming up, and it's not too hot. It does get warm. The smaller the circle, the warmer it gets. So if it's too warm for you, you will just expand your circle. And then you'll see the gel kind of slides down. I just picked that gel up, but I really focus on this area. I go in probably about, I'd say a two inch circle at the most. And like I said, I'll do that for two minutes in that area and it vibrates and shuts off after four minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue and I will fast forward this because each segment takes four minutes. So I would be here, you know, good, you know, eight minutes, eight minutes, and then the neck, another eight minutes. So that's quite a bit. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward now. You see how it's turned green? That means it has really, it's working its best right now. So again, I'm going in about a two inch circle and I usually look at my watch and say, okay, it's 25. So about 27, I will expand the circle up. So I'm gonna fast forward now and I will be back after this treatment. Okay, so it just vibrated. I'll apply more of the gel onto the top covering the coils and move up to the next section. So I'll press the button again and now I move up to this section. There are six sections on the face to be worked with this. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not used on the forehead. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on.
Okay, so I am done with the Nua. You're just going to wipe the top off. You don't stick it in water or anything like that. Really easy to clean up. I just go in between each of the coils. And I'm going to continue to use this because I do feel that my face just instantly looks better after I use this. What it does is these coils do get warm, but the gel prevents you from burning as long as you keep moving. And again, you can control the speed on the side or the temperature on the side. And I suggest you start at one versus two. I started at one. And then you'll notice that when I'm at my cheek area, it gets a little red. I just move to another area. So I know that this area here I have a slight rosacea and if you have really bad rosacea this is not something that you should be using. Uh, there are, uh, go on the website, really read about it and see who it's right for and who it's not. They do tell you right up front and um, I just think that this is really working so I'm going to continue to use it and at first you're supposed to use it every day and you can watch TV doing this. And it does take, it's four minutes in each section. So it's eight minutes on each side. And then you're supposed to do four minutes under the neck here and four minutes in here. I break it up to two here and two here. But eventually I think I might move into the four. But when you're watching a movie and you're just going along, it, the time goes really fast because it vibrates when it's done and it tells you when to move on. So I'm really enjoying this. So we'll see. We shall see. So now what I'm going to do, because I have that gel on my face, I'm going to go over and I'm going to get some of the warm cloths. Now they've been in my crock pot and they are on warm. It's very, it's very important that you don't let them get too hot because then they will burn your skin. You just want them warm. Anything too hot is not going to be good. So I'm going to go over and grab a couple and I will be right back to show you how I remove this because I don't want to wash again. So I have two washcloths. You can see they're steaming, but they I can touch them. They're comfortable and they're very, very wet. I did wet them and I wrang them out, but if I squeezed right now, a ton of water would drip out of these. So you're just going to open them up. If they are too warm for you to touch, just give them a shake. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put it in a triangle and then I'm going to lay it on my face, press it on, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. You gotta keep your head kind of still. And then I will go ahead and just let it sit there for a minute. And then you can be professional and you can roll them down if you want, which I'll do for you just to show you. You just roll them down your face. And then once you get to your neck, you just wipe up. and you wipe all of the gel off. I also wanted to mention, now I'm just going to turn them inside out. Do the same thing again, turning them inside out. So you reuse them on both sides. I'm not gonna roll them this time. You can just simply pull them away. And when you do, you're taking that gel with you. And then of course, on your neck, you want to wipe up one quick wipe and I'm using just white Turkish towels and that is it so you'll just toss those to the side they are done so now if you look at my face it is wide awake right now I've had no sleep my friends none I will say the Nua is not really for the lip area but I am cheating the system I'm not holding them responsible I am trying it on my lips because I'm losing volume in my lips and I have incredible lip lines. So, all right, so my skin is clean. If you wanted one more time, you could get another clean cloth and just give it a swipe, but mine is really good at this point. So it looks really good. It feels really good. So I'm going to move on to the next step. So I want to do a little bit of a massage because I really like to get the blood flow going. Now that Nua really does do it, but if you don't have the Nua, you're of course going to skip that step. So then we're gonna go into really giving it a quick massage. And I wanted to also show you that if you don't have the new face, you can use tools like this, which I did in my last facial, but I'm still gonna show you in this one because somebody may not have watched the other one. So you want to use whatever facial oil works for you. And that will be different for some of us. Uh, some don't like essential oils. I love Vintner's Daughter, but I never use it in massaging because you need so much oil and this is too expensive and it, 
if, if you want to use it, you go right ahead. But uh, I do have other options. The May Love, Love 31 Precious Face Oil is actually a very good oil and comes really close to Vintner's Daughter. Vintner's Daughter is still a better oil, in my opinion. But this is really, really good. And the last time I did a facial video, the Moon Aknari, uh, this is a brightening youth serum. What I like to do is make sure that the oil I'm using has skincare benefits as well. So whatever oil you really like, it could be jojoba oil. If you like coconut oil, you use coconut oil. I don't like coconut oil on my face. I, I think it really breaks me out. And I don't think it does anything to address the dryness or dehydration that I go through from time to time. And another oil that I really do like is the Pure Marula Oil from May Love. Some of you may have the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. You may have a different Marula Oil. Just make sure that they're really clean oils. If you can get organic, that's really great. This is or organic and it's wild harvested. So because I used this in my last video, I will go ahead and use the May Love, and I am not shy with my oil. I take the dropper and I really load up on it because you want a good slip when you are doing a massage. You don't want it to drag. And then I'm just going to swipe it in my hands and you can see they're really, they have a lot of oil. And I'm just going to go ahead and start. I'm gonna use my whole palm. There's really, there's, there's really no wrong or right. It's all about having the slip and whatever feels good to you. It is important to have a nice rhythm going on. And that's why if you have spa music and you have a diffuser going, you know, it sets you in the mood and you just really massage. So you just keep massaging and maybe you do eight times around like this. And then without removing your hands, you'll come from underneath. And that's the thing you don't want to really, it's, you don't want to take your hands off of your face and keep going like this because that's very disturbing. So when you are massaging, just learn how to massage. Do it, you know, we'll do it four times for the video. And then just slide over and come down. And before you leave, you're already placing your hands on the face in a nice rhythm. That's all that's important. You can move up doing this going right over the lips. If you want, you can use your fingertips and just go in a circular motion all the way up. You can use smaller strokes, use your hand, close it over the jaw. There's no real right or wrong. It's just a matter of really relaxing yourself. And you really don't need to massage more than 10 minutes. You just want to get the blood flow going. And then of course you move to the other sections of the face, to pressing in the temple. You can come down and around the eye after you get to the temple, hold the temple again, down and around. But try to keep the rhythm the same all the way around the face. Pressure points are important. Temples, you release a lot of stress. We're also working on lymphatic drainage here on the face. Ridding the face of fluid. That's exactly what that means. And you can go up underneath your eyes and just press underneath your cheekbone. That releases, relieves so much tension. For me, this is amazing because I have TMJ. So I just hold that. And then you can work back up with just a slide, come back down, pressure points again. And if you have uh, allergies or sinus, this may be tender right here for you, but just stay underneath. You can use two fingers and just really press out the tension, come down the neck to really drain it. And then come up the neck. Go behind the neck, rolling down, rolling and down. Up the neck again, 
the jawline. Working back up the face, you can go back in circular motions. If you find your oil is drying up on you, go right ahead and put some more. Again, we go around the eyes to the temple, in and around to the temple, in, around the temple, in and around the temple, and come back up and you can go right into the eyebrow. And you'll feel it, it just releases tension. You can go right up into the 11s, massage. You can do your massage this way on your forehead if you like. I find this more soothing. And you can do this, you can count to eight on each section and then repeat it three times until the amount of time you want is over. I'm going to stop it right now and then I would simply start tapping Just kind of wakes up the senses after relaxing yourself over your eyes. And that is it for your massage. So now, if you don't have, I wanted to show you this, just in case somebody didn't see it in the last video. This is the uh, Gosha tool. You can go right up the jawline and work up the face, turn it, for drainage, you can go ahead and turn it on its side and massage the face like so. You can go up with it. There are tons of videos showing you how to use this tool, but whatever you do on one side, make sure you do it on the other side. That is important. Always have an oil on your face when using the Gosha tool as well. Okay, my friends, so that is that. So now I am going to go ahead, I'm going to get some more towels, and now I want to steam the oil off of my face. So I brought over three of them this time. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to place it on my skin. Remember, if it's too hot, just shake it first to get that steam off of the cloth. Put it on your face, and we're just going to start working that oil, you can take one cloth and really clean up your chin area like so, and then take it up the neck. And again, and we're just removing that oil from our face because I am going to use a mask. And if you have something with oil on your skin still, then you will not get the benefits from the mask because not much can go through oil. For massage, you'll notice that your face is pink. That's absolutely normal. That's blood flow. And some, of, some people are a little bit sensitive, so just touching someone's face could make them red. But as long as you're not irritated, don't even worry about it. So I'm gonna take the last cloth, place it on my skin, and I'm just gonna hold that warmth onto my skin and remove it, go up under my jawline again. Once more over the face. And okay, so the oil is off of my skin. You'll be able to know by touching your skin if there's still a residue of oil. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to sheet masks, which are some of my most favorites. But before I do, I'm going to take, I have a couple of sprays that I like. And by the way, the spritz that I was doing earlier was the Slip Sleep, Sleep Mist. It's lavender and I just spray it around to set the mood or you can just use a diffuser. So I have uh, two uh, mists that I like to spritz. And you can spritz either one, it doesn't matter, or any mist that you have that you love. If you have a hyaluronic acid, 
um, spritz or if you have the Caudalie spritz, whatever you have, you go ahead. This is the Anna Rose from Moon. I really like this line a lot. And then the other one is Jerlique. Uh, this is the Sweet Violet Grapefruit Hydrating Mist. So I'll just spray them both so you can see. And I just spritz them. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. And now this one comes out in a finer mist than the Jolique. The Jolique, Jolique, the Jolique comes out a little bit more, but they're beautiful. You don't need them both. I just wanted to, you know, show you how I use both of them. All right, so now my skin is just ready for my mask and I'm so excited to put it on. Now, if you have a mask that doesn't really cover your eye area well, go ahead and use an eye mask with it. Now I'm going to, I wanted to show you the Shiseido. These are a retinol and I have been using these for years. This is a really nice eye mask. But the this one. mask here is the one I'm going to use today and it's a wrinkle release facial sheet mask. And this refreshes, it's wrinkle relief and brightens. And, and for underneath the eyes, I'm going to apply the Acure. I love these masks. Now these are drugstore and I absolutely love them. And these are the Brightening Under Eye and these have caffeine and kale in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this package. Okay, so this is what they look like. They come in a tray and I'm just going to lift it up. It's got a lot of solution on it and I'm gonna go ahead and place this underneath the eye and do the same with the other. Okay, so I have this over my eye because I'm not sure, many sheet masks don't really address the under eye area. So that's why I like to do a little of both. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the skin laundry now. And they usually have a protective sheet on them. Most of them do. I've never opened one that hasn't. And what I like to do is you can either remove it right away and then go ahead and place it on your skin. So this one comes up a little on the eye area, but they never really adhere all the way. So that's why I like it. This one's a little short in the eye area. I don't really like the fit of this mask, but it, it does work well. So we have that on. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my silicone mask cover on. And these cost like five bucks on Amazon. And it allows you to really move around or just relax with the mask on without it falling off of your face. And another thing it does is it allows for um, the mask to stay moist. Okay, so now I'm going to take this tool here, which I found on a whim at TJ Maxx, and I absolutely love it, love it. I will be able to link this, it's on Amazon, but it has a vibrator. So you just turn the bottom and it vibrates. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just go over the eye area first a couple of times. And I swear this just improves the performance of my mask and my eye creams because I use it for both. And I just go up and down, oh, I don't know, about 10 times. And I think it just really jump starts my eye mask. I love it. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now, because this mask is stretching over, you do have to hold it down. And it feels great. Okay, so I just did this over each eye about 10 times and then I just quickly ran over the mask. It just vibrates, it feels good. And then I ran it down the neck for the lymphatic drainage. Now this mask stays on for 20 minutes and the eye mask can stay on for 20 minutes. So I'm going to leave them on for 20 minutes and I will be back with you to finish up this facial. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the silicone sheet cover and all you have to do is rinse this now, okay? And I will remove the mask. It was a very, 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 um, comfortable mask to wear. And I'm just going to go down the neck with it now and the chest because there's a lot of solution still left. You can go over your shoulders with this. Don't waste anything, nothing my friends. You just use it up on everything. Don't forget your ears too, use your ears, everything. All right, so then we're going to remove the eye mask but I'm going to massage slightly before I take them off. Okay, and now we're going to just remove them 
You have to be careful with these types of um, eye masks because they, your fingernails will rip right through them. Okay, so now we're just going to massage this into the skin. Now this mask says to massage in or, see a little piece of that mask is on my face, or wipe off. So what I'm going to do is just give it a quick massage in underneath the eyes. You want to massage that in. Just make sure you massage it in really well. You can tell that mask leaves a really nice glow on the skin. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Oven. Again, you don't need to use this, but I like my face to be a little bit damp when I'm putting things on right after a facial. It just, your skin is soft. It's been manipulated slightly, so there's blood flow, and you just have it in a good place right now. So I like to keep it damp and then follow with some of my serums. Now, when I'm doing a mask, I don't necessarily do my skincare routine, but you definitely can, my friends. I like to pamper a little bit. <laughs> and the reason why is because some companies send me things and I just buy things to try them for you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the event and I'm just going to spritz this on my skin. I love this. This is this is really a nice water, not necessarily. You, it's just a really nice thermal water, but you could easily use whatever you spritzed on in between. Matter of fact, I'll do it for you right now. I'm gonna do the rose and then I just give it a nice pat and you'll see it will activate the serum from that mask again. So now we're going to move on. So now for my T-zone area, I want to add some niacinamide. Niacinamide is a very good active ingredient in skincare. If you have a pore problem, try adding niacinamide to that area or all over your face. It's totally up to you. But I only use it basically in the areas that I truly need it, and that would be my T-zone. So I just take a couple of drops and I go right over the pore area where I put that black mask is exactly where I put the niacinamide. Now you can also use it all over. It helps with discoloration, but I really love it for my pore area and that's all you need. So now I'm going to treat under my eyes and I'm going to use my Bay Harbor Beauty Retinol and Quinoa. This is a face serum and an eye serum, but I like it as an eye serum. I do have some new ones to try up the road, but I am promising myself to finish everything. And I do love this one. And um, I just love supporting small businesses. I truly do. So I have put that in between my fingers. I'm just tapping that in all the way around, making sure to include the crow's feet. Yes, wrinkles around the eyes. And then lightly over the lid. And that's all you have to do there. I use this as a serum. So now I'm going to go in with my Dermatology. And this is a medical grade age reversal eye cream. I really like this. It does not contribute to my puffiness. So I'm going to go ahead and it's just a small amount. And again, I'm going to tap that right over the serum. I do have some new eye products to try. I've never tried the SkinCeutical. I've used their AOX serum, which I bought, and I'm going to try their eye cream because I hear people rave about it. So I'm going to try it because I am noticing lots of wrinkles. The next step is my moisturizer. I am going to add the Sunita's Peptiderm Moisturizing Cream. I did not know that Sunita's was the first line that Ben Fuchs was involved in. He does the truth system. I did not know that this was his. So it is, I think he probably sold it or he was involved in it, something. But anyway, um, that is impressive because I absolutely love this line. And I do have the truth system, but I'm, I'm working on that one. But anyway, this is a um, re-densifying moisturizer and I love the delivery system of it. You just do one pump and it comes right out. And after I do a facial, I really do like to use a moisturizer that has a lot of active ingredients. And I just massage that on right over everything else. And then of course, don't forget the neck. It's very important and your chest. Everything so, you do to your face, you should be doing to your neck, okay? I did, I did want to do an honorable mention for the Fit Glow Beauty. This is their 
cloud ceramide balm. So it has a lot of ceramides in it. It's all natural for those of you who really like to go the clean beauty route. Uh, it's the same company as the Fit Glow Beauty lip balms and serums that I love. While I have this in my hand, I'm gonna go ahead and put another dose of it on. But I did want to show you the cream because it's really has a unique texture and some of you may really like it. It's a little on the thicker side. I'll put it on my neck so you can really see. And it's it has a balmy feel to it. So if you're really dry and you're looking for a clean beauty cream, it has a lovely smell, really nice. But it's just really a nice cream. You can see how moisturized it leaves the neck. Really, really nice. So another option for you, of course, you can create this facial with anything you have in your skincare routine. That is it. You can use everything from your skincare routine and uh, just add some mask in, whatever you want. Now, if you were somebody that just, I mean, I think my skin has a beautiful glow. I think it looks wide awake from when I started. All right, my friends, so that's it for today's video, a how to revive a tired face and build collagen clean your pores as well. All right, so let me know if you're going to give this a try, if you picked up any tips. What kind of facial do you enjoy doing? What products do you use? Remember, you do not have to buy anything that I'm using. Use what works for you. Just incorporate the little tips and steps and you will have yourself a beautiful, beautiful facial. Just All right, remember. my friends, so that's it. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right next to it is a bell. That will notify you of all the videos that I am putting up. Until the next time, my friends, go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. Be safe, be responsible, and practice social distancing. All right, my friends, I love you all. Bisous.